So in this video, what I wanted to do was to show you how I have integrated Pipedrive and Asana together through Zapier, such that I can remove a manual step that I used to do uh, by hand when uh, a deal is won in Pipedrive. So the automation I've been created is that when I win a new deal, then Pipedrive will automatically populate uh, the project details. It will create the project within Asana, and then potentially I could add in a fixed set of tasks. So this will be useful for an organization that sells either kind of standardized products or standardized services, whereby there's a relatively fixed set of tasks as each project is created. So, here is our deal inside Pipedrive. We see this new client with a big deal. And we can see that for most organizations, you move this across the pipeline to the point that this is in a stage where it's won. So, here's our deal. We click on one, there's the usual animations from within Pipedrive. Um, and what I've done is I've kind of set this up with Zapier in the background so that it takes this deal, will create a project. But here we see here, uh, I've also connected, to, connected it to Slack such that I get a notification, particularly useful if I'm kind of out on the road, I get that Slack notification on my mobile. And so, as we can see here, our new client organization project has been set up. So this is the description that we used in uh, Pipedrive, and you can obviously amend this as you see fit, because uh, it's kind of this one's kind of long and it's cut out of the details. But again, you can use as you see fit. And I added two tasks within this, but you can add as many as uh, you need um, for this particular setup. So that's great. So no, no manual work involved in this now. You just click one and the project is created in Asana. And you could see here that I've also assigned the tasks to me and in this particular case put a date on that as well, which is really useful if different tasks are assigned to different areas of the team, different team members. And so if you look at how this setup is set up in Zapier, um, here's our Pipedrive account. Basically, uh, the, the real uh, crux of this really is, is in the setup of this filter. And so what we've done here is that we've checked the field within Pipedrive that gives it its status. And we only complete this action if uh, the action is one. So if we've moved it to the stage called one, you can choose other statuses. Um, that's what we need for this one. The pipeline ID, so I have an, a, a number of pipelines within Pipedrive. This ID just refers to the pipeline that I'm using for this demonstration. And then we can see that we create the project within Asana and then we create the tasks that we need within that project. So we use the same ID. And then when this is done, I just have it neatly send me a channel message within Slack to notify me that this has happened. So relatively straightforward, but it saves a huge amount of time. So that's how I've integrated Pipedrive and uh, actions within Pipedrive into Asana such that it creates projects and tasks for me.